Whether you're an adrenaline junkie ready to jump off a cliff or just want to unwind and relax, Queenstown has it all. But with so many activities vying for your money, what are the right ones for you? We're going to take you along with us and show you some of the amazing things Queenstown has to offer and hopefully give you some inspiration for your next trip. And it wouldn't be a proper trip to Queenstown if you didn't do something to get the adrenaline pumping, so we're headed off to face our fears of the shot over canyon swing. How are you feeling? I'm nervous. Thankfully, I have a little bit of liquid courage in me, so. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you're going to go off this platform and you're going to free fall for 60 meters before you get caught into that swing. Sweet. Let's do it. Just like that. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted to do the easiest one. I wasn't sure I would actually have the courage to like jump off by myself. So I chose the one where they hang you up and then they release you. Um, Cause I, I just didn't think I'd be able to do it. And I'm glad I did. How are you feeling? <laughs> <Good again. laughs> this is totally the relaxing tropical honeymoon. Mm. Oh, that was so I think I'll do the cutoff. What? That's the easy one, right? That's the, that's the lame one, yeah. Exactly, that's me. <laughs> oh, I thought you, you guys were yeah. Americans. Oh, <laughs> cool and stuff. Nah, we're pretty lame. <laughs> All right. He swung me out over the ledge and I was hanging there and freaking out and I was holding the rope apparently kind of wrong I was holding the rope like this and the guy was like, oh, hey, flip your hands over and I was like, oh, okay, like this and he goes, yup, drop And <laughs> <laughs> it took me by surprise, I let out just this brief little scream and then I remember falling and trying to scream and nothing would come out <laughs> It was Terrifying. <laughs> um, but then really fun when you're in that final swing and then I remember they're cranking me up, pulling me back to the top. And I just remember like involuntary tears just coming out of my eyes. And I don't know if I was just too much adrenaline or excitement or what, but I was just wiping away tears as they were pulling me back up. I've never done a front flip in my life before, <laughs> but I managed to do about a million of them on the way down. It's like an Olympic gymnast <laughs> going down the mountain. Like, <laughs> my knee is going to hurt tonight. <laughs> about halfway down, I'm like, oh, getting sick. Oh, getting sick. Maybe wine was not a good idea today. <laughs> I enjoyed the first jump, so clearly I wasn't too terrified because I agreed to do another one. Um, but the second one was no less scary than the first one. In fact, the second one was probably scarier. I decided to do a chair tip. I did. Still nervous. This is a childhood dream to tip back in your chair and have nobody yell at you. <laughs> you will be a PSA for all kids in school going forward. <laughs> That's what happened to you. <laughs> I like work up the courage to do it. I take some deep breaths and finally I start going for it. And the guy pulls me back and he was like, oh no, like that was good. We, that'll be like your first practice run. And I was like, no, come on. So I like stuck in, take my deep breaths, get ready to go. And then I start leaning back and he starts pulling me back again. He's like, we usually do like two or three practice runs. And I was like, no. And at that point, just like, okay, and drops it, and I go toppling backwards. And again, some of the most terrifying moments of my life, falling backwards, head first over a cliff. If you're looking to slow things down a bit, you may notice an old steamship in the harbor coming and going throughout the day. You can actually book a ride in this over to Walters Peak High Country Farm for a guided tour of the working farm that is amongst some incredibly idyllic scenery. 
Walters Peak High Country Farm is located right across the lake from Queenstown. The journey used to be rough and time consuming, but in 1912, the steamship TSS Ernslaw was launched into the lake to transport livestock, passengers, and supplies between the various high country farms. The ship till this day still makes runs to Walters Peak. We got to see a sheep shearing. We got to see goats and baby cows and alpacas, not llamas. <laughs> and it was so much fun. It was just so picturesque and sweet. It was, it was a lot of fun. I think Andrea's dream has just come true. I had a baby cow and an alpaca <laughs> and some sheeps. <laughs> So we got to see a sheep shearing at the farm. It was kind of hilarious because they moved the sheep so that it's sitting with its like little hooves out in front like this. And we learned that as long as the feet aren't touching the ground, they're not gonna be able to move or stand up. So the poor sheep's just kind of chilling there and they were able to give them a shearing and we got to feel the wool afterwards. They also saying that there's like sheep shearing competitions and like the <laughs> fastest one out there is like seven seconds or something crazy like that. Yeah, it takes somebody like a half hour to cut my hair, but some, some, <laughs> some dude in New Zealand can just shear a whole sheep in about seven seconds. <laughs> Interesting fact that only about 20% of the population in New Zealand lives in the South Island, so it's much more sparse. We learned the sheep outnumber the people like eight to one, so. <laughs> so keep the sheep happy or they could be coming for you. If there's ever an uprising, New Zealand's gonna lose the South Island. <laughs> I think one of the activities I was looking forward to most on this trip was doing something called river surfing. Basically where they give you a, a glorified boogie board and you go down rapids face first. So I knew he really wanted to do it. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> suck it up and be adventurous. You know, I loved the white water rafting. So maybe I'll love this too. Yeah, what so happens going forward is 100% her fault. <laughs> The staff at the river surfing was amazing. This is not their fault. They Aww. did a really good job and they were awesome. Thanks. They were from all over the world and they were hilarious. They were so much fun. They honestly were really good instructors and like explaining everything and making us feel safe. It's a physically exhausting activity. A doll can show you how to live this ending. Okay. It's like a machine. Let's go! That's perfect. I love machines. It's physical. You're gonna be tired. You will deserve your beer. Do it. into my brain and now I have a brain freeze. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a bigger discrepancy I think in what Andrea and I enjoy differently. John's just like having the time of his life at the front of the pack just like 
And I'm at the back, like, dying, trying not to drown. The guy up at the front, so where's your wife? And I was like, who? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> probably in the back. The one, the one drowning? Yeah, yeah that's her, that's her. Uh, it's just one of those things, like, I, they explained everything, how to enter the rapids, how to exit the rapids, what direction to face, but you just get in it and those rapids take over and like all sense was just like pew out of my brain and it was just like fire flight trying not to drown. <laughs> yeah, the, the staff is really on top of it and making sure she didn't die. So th thank, thank you, you from, from the life. bottom of my heart. So you go through one round of this segment of the river and during that time they're kind of stopping in different river banks, going over different skills and then you have the option to go through again, just straight through, enjoying yourself. Now, now that you kind of know what is happening and what to do. So at that point, when we finished our first round, they gave the option of, you know, okay, well, like that's the first one. If anyone is tired or doesn't want to do it again, like we're happy to take you back. I, I think so they gave us the option to turn back and there were seven of us on the trip. Now there are three. <laughs> Four very wise people decided to bail out and just go home after that first one. So the three of us went for another round of torture. <laughs> and again, John had a great time and uh -huh. I had my 27 guides pulling me along. <laughs> It was the closest to death I have ever been in my entire life. <laughs> Some of the most stunning landscapes in New Zealand can be found in the South Island. The one you can't miss is Milford Sound. It's a long journey from Queenstown, about four hours each way, but if you're willing to make the drive, it's well worth the views. During our trip, we were lucky enough to run across one of the infamous kia, a large type of parrot found only in the South Island of New Zealand. I like the one kia and like 40 people chasing. And Chuck Dewey, he's not very scared. He just seems to be like chilling. They said he enjoys posing for pictures. Correctly named, Milford Sound is actually not a sound. It's a fjord, which is a long, narrow inlet surrounded by steep cliffs formed by glaciers over millions of years. It's known to be New Zealand's most famous tourist destination, and we definitely understood why. After a couple days of adrenaline activities and long car rides, wine was much needed. We toured some of the South Island's most beautiful wineries and sampled some local delicacies. We just uh, dropped off at our first wine tour location. Um, we've got a little bit of time to kill before our cave tour begins, so we're dropping into a local cheesery to try some cheese. I was, I was totally expecting something sweet and it just like hit my mouth. It was like, not sweet, spicy. And then like I inhale like gas, like <laughs> And chutney went down into my lungs. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> I think when people go to Queenstown, they look at all the adrenaline activities on the list and kind of pick one. They're like, oh, I'll do this one and maybe that one. 
We got it and we just said, let's do them all. So one of those we did was the uh, shot over jet. These supercharged fast boats and they run in like six inches of water on these really shallow rivers. The whole point of, of them is to get you as close to the cliff edge without slamming into it as possible. So what'd you think? Oh, it was fun. It was just like a super cool roller coaster. I loved it. We thought we might just get a light misting, but we'll probably see we're pretty damp. My shorts are kind of soaking wet right now. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> we're alive. We ended an already amazing day in the onsen hot pools in Queenstown. We got to enjoy this wonderful hot tub overlooking a beautiful valley at sunset. It was what honeymoon dreams are made of. Something that's hard to miss down at the waterfront is the distant roar of engines and the spray of something that seems to be riding just beneath the surface. They're essentially like a mix between a motorcycle and a jet ski and a submarine. Call me the fool when she calls out. It's a lot like being in a jet fighter, it's like you bank into all the turns. And, uh, it's crazy when you go underwater and you can just see this like, you know, maybe like six inch layer of water just going over you. And not really made for tall people. My knees were like, I, from the second I get in, I had a Charlie horse. I was like, no, oh, ah. <laughs> so much fun. I've been waiting all trip to do this. This is a very important tradition in New Zealand. Um, it's called the Tim Tam Slam. So... <laughs> it's like something I don't want to be a part of. No, you're doing it. You're doing it. It's good. So Tim Tams are a really popular cookie in New Zealand. It's basically like a kind of like a wafer um, with a chocolate outside. Uh, and so basically what the Tim Tam Slam is, take a Tim Tam, then you bite off, you may you may follow along at home, uh, you bite off the corners, so bite off one, a little bite, and then do the opposite corner. All right, All right so now what you do is you take whatever hot beverage you want. So she's got hot chocolate, I've got some coffee, and what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna suck the beverage like a straw through it and what it's going to do is melt the insides and so you do that for a little bit and then you slam the Tim Tam and now it's all melting and delicious. Mmm, it's good, isn't it? Oh, it's so good. Right, nice and melted. Take a big bite. Oh yeah, it's falling apart. Oh! <laughs> you waited too long. <laughs> Tim Tams only hold their structural integrity for a short time. <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> hoping to wear the shirt again tomorrow. <laughs> well, Andrea loves the Tim Tam Slam. To New Zealand. 10 out of 10, would recommend to a friend. New Zealand, cheers. Went well. Mmm. I think I can feel the diabetes kicking in. And I can feel the hot chocolate all over my crotch. <laughs> Cheers. 
you can get some of the best views of Queenstown at Skyline. It's a quick gondola ride to the top where you can enjoy dinner, explore some hiking trails, and even let out your inner child. We've conquered the canyon swing. We rocked the waterfall. We even drove a shark in the lake. But now comes the most harrowing of all, the luge. <laughs> So what do you think? Have any of these activities made it onto your New Zealand bucket list? Let us know down in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.